What an interesting room. Hello and welcome to Ask Master. Questions about series 16 of Taskmaster answered by me, little Alex Horn. I'm going to answer as many as I can in the time we have available, which is brief. Here we go, first question. How are you? Fine. We're off. What is your favourite flower? Good question. Sun. I like the sunflower every year. Uh, the children in my house plant a sunflower seed and see how tall it gets. And Oh no, we never do that, but we always thought we should, but it's too late now. Okay, uh, what is the hardest you can recall laughing during the filming of a task? I think it's probably doing during uh, John Kearns's um, secret task when he had to do something without his team knowing. I found that very funny. He's a very funny person. Is the secret task a lie? You should have more faith. Of course it's not. There was a secret task hidden throughout the series. Will they find it? I, d I can't say. What is on your tablet in the show? Is it like an app specially made for the show or just a script? I'd be interested in seeing what it looks like. I'm sure you would be. Two questions and a statement. Uh, what's on your tablet? I have so much on the tablet, I control everything. Uh, I've also got um, WhatsApp for my friends. If Taskmaster wasn't called Taskmaster, what other name would you call it? What I originally pitched it as was Alex Horn's Funhouse with Pat Sharp. That's what I would wish it was still called. Who was the person who most surprised you that they agreed to do the show? Two people. Sir Mo Farah. That's weird, isn't it, that he's done it. And Tim Key. He doesn't do panel shows. And he's my former colleague, so that was a, persuading him. Was, that's tricky. Tricky man. What was your favourite location to film for the location tasks? Good question. I'm going to go for the railway museum, the railway task where I had to find them while spinning round and you had Joe Thomas and Lou Sanders and the others scampering around and hiding behind bushes. That's my favourite location task ever. And also it's a railway museum. My sort of place. Do the contestants know who else is in the series before they meet for team tasks? A sensible question. They do know who's in the series, they don't know who's on their team day, they don't know that if there is definitely going to be a team day. Lots of the comedians, it turns out, have never seen the show. So we go to great lengths of hiding them from each other until the task itself. What is your favourite pair of socks that you own? And then a smiley face on the side. Uh, well, you know what, it is this pair. that I'm, Genuinely is, I wear this as often as possible because they're thick and, and, and trendy. Is that on in any of the cameras? It's got skulls on and lightning bolts. Reflects my personality. Why did you choose Josh Widdicom as the magic word to release the sword and the stone in series 16, episode two? I'm out of breath from lifting my leg up. Um, I like the name Widdicom. I like being able to say Widdico MBE. And he's the original champ of Taskmaster, series one and champion of champions one. So he's magic, simple as that. What was the most frustrating task you've had to witness? <laughs> in this very room, they had to do a portrait using just a, a sand pit and various blowing devices. That was frustrating. I think when um, Moan Rizwan tried to inject uh, an egg with helium, that was frustrating for me to watch. Any lack of common sense is frustrating. Out of all the prizes from the prize task, which one would you want to take home? That's a good question. Genuinely, series one, Frank Skinner's leather Christmas cracker hat. Because like him, I think I look great in a Christmas cracker hat. Of the task types, prize, taskmaster house, location, studio, etc., which is the hardest to design? Good question. Studio, studio tasks are the trickiest because we can't redo them. Every other task we can experiment with them, tinker with them, but when you do the studio task, we do one per show, if it doesn't work, that's the climax of the show, and that's happened on a couple of occasions. So they're the trickiest, because also we need five people doing something at the same time, and hopefully there is some variety within what happens. They are fiddly. What area or building would be your dream series location? A ferry or oh, a cruise liner? That'd be good. Okay, what's your least favourite colour at last? Is it blue or red or something like that? Which part of creating the show makes you feel most nervous? <laughs> I do sometimes worry that the first episode of the next series, everyone's going to suddenly go, well, 
I don't like any of these people, but I have faith in the people. Um, I worry, I guess, when I see early series, how different I looked then. That makes me nervous about the future. Is there anyone you want desperately on the show, but no, you'd never get? <sighs> I'm going to say Stephen Merchant. I desperately want Stephen Merchant on the show. I don't know we'd never get him, but he's busy. But I feel like he's tangible, he's within reach. I desperately want him. What historical figure would be the best fit for the Taskmaster? Napoleon. And I would be his assistant who went on to be the King of Sweden. How are contestants chosen for the show? Is there any consideration of balancing different personalities or the dynamics between them? There is an awful lot of consideration of all that. I come up with a list of people I want, and so does the director and the producer and the channel and the taskmaster himself, Craig Davis, and the production company. So we have five different lists, and we try to meet in the middle and think, oh, well, if that person does it, this would be nice. And then also, who, who's um, available? So it's fiddly. Did you know that the teddy bear and the leaf blower had almost the same weight? This is a specific question for the current series, series 16. No, that caught me by surprise. Sam Campbell knew more than I did about that task. Very specific question, well done. How often do you feed a little Alex Horn? And how often do you walk one? You feed a little Alex Horn increasingly sort of five times a day, late at night, early in the morning, and then everything in between. And you walk one three times a day, brisk walk in the morning, sometimes a late night dog walk, and then uh, just a sort of amble between four and five. How many tasks does a contestant do in a day and do they have much downtime between tasks? It varies wildly. Sometimes four tasks in a day. On a team day, six. On a particularly hectic day, 10 or 12. I think we've done 12 before. In which case, not much downtime. But there's always 10 minutes, 20 minutes between tasks. But the contestants kind of like it when it's brief. Just task, sandwich, task, falafel, task, one or two bottles of wine. So not a lot of relaxation. We drive them hard and they deserve it. Okay, that's all I've got time for today, but I will do more very soon. Thank you for your questions and goodbye. For more Taskmaster, subscribe now.